People gathered at Central Academy to rally for people in Palestine today. Des Moines for Palestine organized the event calling for, quote, hands off Rafah now. The group is calling for Israel to stop the attack on Rafah and stop the U.S.'s, quote, complicity in genocide. I am here as an ally, as a Muslim, as an Arab. This is everybody's issue. This is everybody's problem. We can't solve this without solidarity. This comes as the Israeli Defense Force resumed its operation in Rafah only days after an Israeli airstrike caused an explosion near a refugee camp. That explosion then caused that camp to go up in flames, killing 50 civilians and injuring hundreds more. Israel's prime minister says a technical failure caused the civilians' death, calling it a tragic mishap. Both the Biden administration and Israel are investigating the incident. Israel must take every precaution possible to do more to protect innocent life. This is a devastating incident which we did not expect. We are investigating what caused the fire that resulted in this tragic loss of life. The White House is also looking into whether the airstrike crossed the president's red line. Just this month, Biden threatened to withhold support if the IDF entered Rafah. Meanwhile, the U.S. is removing a temporary pier it built off a of Gaza shore. The pier was one of only a few ways humanitarian aid went into the region, but the Pentagon says rough seas and weather have damaged it. It says the U.S. will re-anchor the pier after repairs are made, which could take more than a week.